Come on, get your leash. Come on, bring it over here. <laughs> what a okay. clever boy. Sit. Though Sit. clearly excited to go for a walk, Staines maintains his composure when getting leashed up. But as soon as he catches sight of another dog, his excitement gets the better of him. Staines was quite reactive when we took him out for a walk. I can see the reason why Shelby doesn't walk him. And what happens if he, if he would go to greet? He can go and greet. Staines gets very excited. He overreacts to other dogs, even though he seems to be fine with them once he's greeted them. Staines' energetic greeting is all right with owners who know he's harmless. Thanks. But encounters with strangers are more frightening. Staines hasn't actually attacked any other dogs, but he certainly looks like he's going to when he lunges at them, and it really frightens the owners of the other dogs. All right, let's go back inside. My ears can't take it anymore. <laughs> Stains. I don't think he's an aggressive dog. I think he's a reactive dog. Mm -hmm. He is reactive outside. He's reactive at the doorway. The reason is because he doesn't get to go out enough. Mm -hmm. So we have to work on that. I have a dog outside, your neighbor with his dog. And the only way that Stains is going to be able to get outside is if he quits barking. OK. All right? Stains has a big problem. When the door opens, he goes ballistic. He's highly excited about going out for a walk. And if he sees another dog outside as he's coming out the front door, he goes insane. It's definitely intimidating for my dog when he sees Staines looking so intent on getting out and doing who knows what. You can see that his whole body is vibrating at the moment because he's got so excited. I want to be able to get him to concentrate a little bit more, get his brain working a little bit more, so he's less excited and more focused on working for me and listening to me. Dogs that are reactive, like Stains, have little impulse control, so it's important to build up that control so that the dog can have the reward of going to greet, but it's got to be calm and it's got to be on the owner's terms. What I'm going to do is I'm going to open the door. He's going to see the dog. He's probably going to bark. I'm going to close the door on him. Wait. Once Staines is calm, Victoria what? tries again. It takes a few attempts, but eventually Staines catches on. Watch me. Okay. Staines' reward is to greet the other dog. So say hi. Now that Staines is outdoors and calm, Victoria and Craig work on his greeting behavior while on the move. See the dog is going to start barking. And I'm going to go in the other direction. I'm going to turn around. No bark. No bark. The temptation to speak to the other dog no is too much. No bark. And the moment he gets overexcited, he is taken back inside to start the process over. Wait. Finally, Staines Quiet. regains his composure. Quiet. 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 Go say hi. Go say hi. He's like, play with me, play with me. Play with me. Play Staines with me. has made a quick turnaround, but now it's Craig's turn with a new dog. We are going to do exactly the same thing, except you're going to do this now. Okay. All right? If at any time you feel uncomfortable, pass the leash to me. Lovely. Beautiful control. Beautiful. Staines, look at me. Look at me. Staines. Look at me. I think Staines needs more doggy friends because if he has experience of just meeting other dogs all the time and hanging out with other dogs all the time, he's going to be less reactive when he sees a new dog on the street. The more familiar dogs are to him, the less it will mean to him when he meets a new one. With just a couple Stains. of U-turns, Craig is able to keep Look Staines me. calm. Staines was much better focused on this walk. He's a very intelligent dog, and I can only see him just reacting in a positive way real quick here. That was pretty Staines. impressive. Mm-hmm. Who's a smart dog? Yeah. Staines is showing his smarts out on the street, and now Victoria wants to get him some indoor exercise as well. Staines is a working dog, so I want to give him a job to do. And I think it's really great to stimulate these dogs' minds by getting them to do jobs for you plus the fact that they find it rewarding to do things for you that gets your praise. So I'm going to start 
with one slipper. I wanted to teach Staines to fetch the slipper in a number of stages. First of all, I wanted to teach him to just touch the slipper with his nose. Then he got a reward. Touch? Good boy. Then I upped the ante. If he touched the slipper with his nose, he didn't get the reward. So he had to figure out, OK, what do I need to do? So at one point, he mouthed the slipper, and then he got the reward. Good boy. Step by step, Victoria has Staines advance from mouthing. Go get it. Good boy. To grabbing. Good boy. Oh, but will great. Staines be able to retrieve on Victoria's command? Go get it. Go get it. Bring to me, bring to me, bring it to me. Very good, thank you. Oh. Very good. Oh. Now that Staines knows the job, Craig gives it a try. Staines, get the slipper, get the slipper. Bring it here, bring it here, come on, bring it here. Go, boy. Yay. The slipper training was a real success. I was very proud of Staines, he's a smart dog. I was really impressed when Staines finally picked up on picking up the, the slippers. I was so impressed that he was able to do that. Okay. It's one thing to train Staines at the door and coming out of his home to greet dogs. It's quite another to be walking on the street and trying to get his focus when he's so reactive towards another dog coming towards him. There's another dog coming. I want you to take Staines off to the side, get him to sit, to watch you so he doesn't react. Do it right now. He's seen the other dog. Staines. Right now. Staines. Good boy. Okay. Now, I want you to put the treat in front of his mouth as the dog is coming past. When we were out on the walk with Peanut and Staines, two dogs came past unexpectedly. All right, there you go. Peanut, get, get, get his control. He went ballistic. I had to remove him away out of the situation. Staines. We were trapped. So the only way that I could keep him from lunging was putting my body in between him and the other dog and then trying to get his focus. Sit. Victoria tried to focus Staines on her, but he, he still had his reaction. I feel like Staines needs a lot more practice with this before I'm going to be walking with him. Absolutely not. Watch me. Watch. What just happened there was an intense reaction from a reactive dog, but not an aggressive dog. People think that this is aggression. Not always the case. The reason why some dogs react like this on the leash is that even though they're friendly, perfectly friendly, it's the frustration because the leash stops them from acting naturally. And I just think, yeah, he just gets well overexcited. This is, you're gonna to need to work on this. I just don't want him to greet another dog barking like that. You know, we know he wants to greet, so let's give him the reward of greeting when he's quiet. So your tough job is gonna be trying to get his focus and calm him down before he's allowed to greet. Yeah, and he's strong. Later in the week, Victoria checks in. Let's see how Craig and Shelby have been getting on without me. Okay, Stains, get the slippers. Get the slippers. Get them. Get them. No, you got to go get the slippers. Get the slippers. Bring them over here. Come on. Doesn't work that way. Get the slippers. Get them. Get the slippers. Get them. Bring it over here. After go numerous on. tries, Staines finally bring succeeds in bringing one slipper all the way to Craig. This is great, Craig. It's OK that he doesn't bring both slippers as long as he's working. Now that Staines has burned off some mental energy, it's time to see how he does on a walk. Get your leash. Get it? Bring it over here. Bring it over here. A dog is waiting outside to test Stain's focus. Good boy. Stain's? Stain. Go back inside. Stain's is still reactive, but Craig did exactly the right thing. Stay. Stain's? Stain's? You can see. You can see. Craig's diligence pays off when Stain's Wait, keeps Stains. his cool and the greeting is a big success. Good boy. Great job, Craig. Sit. Good boy, Staines. Staines has clearly learned how to contain his excitement about going outside, and that is a huge improvement. 
The fact that Shelby can now walk stains is fantastic. And the more exercise he gets, the less reactive he will be. I have much more confidence walking stains. Um, he's so much more calmer and he's not as reactive and it just makes me feel so much better when I'm walking with him. Thanks for watching. If you love It's Me or the Dog and want more dog training tips and tricks, visit my official site, Positively.com. And if you're interested in learning more about becoming a dog trainer, check out the Victoria Stillwell Academy. Links to both sites are in the description. I'll see you online.